What's up, Chemical Guys and Girls? Welcome back to the Chemical Guys Newbie Series. If you were with us last episode, we basically finished up the entire exterior of my car with Nick. Uh, we ended up using some cherry wet wax. If you didn't see that episode, go back and check it out. It's awesome. There's a romantic montage in there. We got your cheesy 80s training montage in this one, so stick around for that. Give it a fat thumbs up, and let's get started. He doesn't know much about detailing. He doesn't know much about detailing. He's asking lots of questions about everything, so we can learn all there is about detailing. He doesn't know much about detailing, he's a chemical guy's noob. He doesn't know much about detailing, he's a chemical guy's noob. Yeah. So today I've kind of exhausted all of my options in terms of what I can do to the exterior of this car. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna hit the interior, so I'm gonna go grab Joey, see where he's at, and uh, hopefully he can help me figure out what first steps I can take to make my interior looking really spiffy. All right guys, I got my car set up, ready to go, and I'm gonna go find Joey. Uh, looks like he's right over here, actually. Clay man, no, hold on, hold on. No, Clay man. What's up, Joey? Oh, oh. hey, what's up, man? Got I was just checking out your latest video there. The strawberries, nice. Yeah, just a little afternoon snack, Sweet. you know. Hey, so <laughs> yeah. um, Nick basically taught me how to do all my exterior. Okay. And I've run out of exterior things to do. So sounds like you got to do some interior stuff. If it sounds like to me. That's exactly what that sounds like. <laughs> so I was hoping I can enlist you to help me and teach me uh, yeah. the ways of the interior detailing. All right, let's get to it then. Cool. Man, what you do on this? Oh, we did a little cherry wet wax last episode. Yeah, that's, that's really wet Some if you ask me right wet there. Mirror, what? <laughs> wet mirror finish? <laughs> wet mirror finish. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and cherry wet wax. Dude, this thing is super smooth. It's like as smooth as a cherry. Oh, baby. Mm. Love it. <laughs> How smooth is a cherry? I don't know. Have you ever touch a cherry? They're, they're pretty, <laughs> touched, they look smooth, right? <laughs> okay. 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 So I guess what my guess is that we should probably start with the mats here because they, yeah. you know, I step on them all day long. They got crumbs and filth and stuff on them. Yeah. I mean, the good thing is that your car is relatively brand new. So, I mean, it doesn't look like there's much neglect on like the door panels or the seats here. I mean, it looks like you just, you know, you go hiking or I don't know where you go stepping and just, you know, hop back into your car and get all that filth in there. So we're definitely going to go ahead and have to address those floor mats right there. So what would be like the first step here? Uh, pull, you don't work on the floor mats inside the car, right? I mean, I wouldn't just because you want to make sure you get all that stuff out the car. We're going to pull it out the car so we can clean it outside of the car so that we don't keep that filth in the car. That's, I, that's a great idea. <laughs> I don't want to keep that filth in the car at all. Uh, so like as a newbie, what uh i have no idea what to even clean this with like what what do i need i mean the, the good thing the about your floor mats is that they're you know they don't have 20 years of neglect on them you know they don't look all dirty and grimy or anything like that so if anything they can do with a nice just shampoo cleaning we'll go ahead and pull them out vacuum them and use a you know a fabric cleaner such so as fabric clean you know that's a citrus based shampoo that's going to go ahead and you know remove all that dirt uh, so. all right so i guess i'll pull this out of the camera this is my first time behind the camera really oh yeah. man Let's see. All right. Just make sure oh, to Oh, wow. There's a bunch it. of other stuff oh. in here. Should we, should we vacuum this as well? That's probably oh, yeah. a good step, right? Yeah, just make sure whenever you take your floor mats out, kind of hold them so that they don't, you know, drop all that dirt. Kind and of like hold it like all this, over. Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So kind of, I guess. Cups Man, are... that's all in there too. Look at all those dude, like, leaves is... and stuff. Dude, where do you go stepping? <laughs> where do you live? <laughs> in the forest. So the first step with any detailing, especially when it comes to interior, is to give the interior a vacuum. So you want to make sure that we get as much of that filth out as we can so that whenever we proceed with cleaning the rest of the interior, that stuff doesn't get all baked onto the floor so that we're not, you know, going back and forth, vacuuming, you know, cleaning the dashboard, coming back to vacuum. So vacuum it first and vacuum it last for best results. Okay, cool. So I guess people could just use a regular vacuum in their car. Yeah, I mean, if they have a vacuum at home, shop vac maybe. Exactly. Okay. Even if you have to go to a car wash and just vacuum it there, then just that's right. Yeah, those old coin out car washes. You could just I used to do that all the time. Exactly. So I guess is this the vacuum over here? I'll just grab this thing. Or actually, no, that's just a blower. Yeah. So I mean, we can use that to kind of dust out the floor mats, but oh yeah, that's kind of yeah. Never mind. That's it's a newbie mistake, I guess. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and grab the vacuum, not the blower, and we'll go ahead and vacuum those formats. <laughs> Great idea. All 
All right, so now that we've vacuumed the floor mat, I do see that you do have a lot of pet hairs. Do you own a pet, Jason? Oh boy, do <laughs> I ever, Joey. I've got two cats, and if you saw that oh newbie my. at home video, you saw how much hair gets collected on everything. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so right off the bat, as I was vacuuming the carpet, I found it very difficult to kind of vacuum some of the areas, simply because we have a lot of that pet hair that's embedded within the fibers of the floor mat here. Yep. So one cool product that I like to use whenever something like this comes up is our pet hair remover brush. Nice. Now this brush, as you already know, you've already used it. This brush works out great at pulling off all these, you know, pet hairs and kind of balling them up into one section so you can just kind of grab them right off. Sometimes the vacuum that you're using doesn't have that much power. Pain in the butt to kind of like clean it when all that hair just doesn't want to come off. So this right here, it's a great tool to go ahead and, you know, pick that all up so that you don't have to struggle with your vacuum to try to vacuum it out. It definitely works really well on cat towers, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the floor mat. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off all this pet hair that's embedded in the fabric, and then we'll be back once it's done. Uh, look at that no, shine. Just, look at that shine. <laughs> oh, I, had to, I had to throw that in there. Cool. <laughs> all right, cool. So, as you guys see, we vacuumed the floor mat, now it's time to clean it. Now, I know you're looking at this floor mat and saying, what the heck are you doing? That floor mat's not even dirty. Well, that's what you would think, right? Just because it's black, you know, if, it, if this were a beige floor mat or like a tan floor mat, you would definitely see all the dirt and grime. But since it's black, you don't really necessarily see it. So we're gonna go ahead and clean it with Fabric Clean right now. Like I told you, Fabric Clean, it's a citrus-based shampoo, so that's gonna go ahead and extract any kind of embedded grime, foul odors and any kind of dirt that's embedded within the fibers of those fabrics. So right here in front of us, we have an assortment of products, the main of which is gonna be Fabric Clean right there. Now, like I told you guys, that's the shampoo. I also have some water as well. I have a secondary dilution sprayer bottle, and I also have a nifty brush along with some yellow workhorse towels there. Now, all these products we're gonna go ahead and use to clean this floor mat. To go ahead and start off with, we're gonna go ahead and start off with our secondary dilution spray bottle. And we're gonna go ahead and take off our top. And we're gonna go ahead and dilute Fabriclean into our spray bottle right here. So how, why do you dilute that? Well, simply because it's a shampoo. So if you were to just pour this on your fabric, you'd be there all day trying to take it out. Okay, so, <laughs> so basically- you wanna make sure you dilute it, get that cleaning power. I mean, you don't need a thick shampoo to do the job because this is what I, got, this is what I like to consider more of a spot clean. So this is going to be more so kind of like a, you know, a quick cleaning, not really so much of a full deep cleaning. I mean, we can if we wanted to, but you know, the floor mats aren't that dirty. Like I said, they just have like dirt embedded within the fibers. So we're just going to go ahead and extract that. All these products, you know, they're hyper concentrated, so you can always dilute them. You know, to put that in perspective, fabric clean, you can actually dilute up to 20 to one for general purpose cleaning or up to eight to one for heavy duty cleaning. Cool. So depending on the level of cleaning that you're looking for, you can dilute it different ways. What, uh, what dilution ratio are we doing today? So for this dilution ratio on this floor mat, I would say 20 to one would be more than sufficient. And as you guys can see right here in my secondary dilution spray bottle, you see that 20 to one ratio right there? Yeah. That's pretty much where we're going to go ahead and fill up our fabric clean to. So as you guys can see, it's not a lot of product at all compared no. to what the water is going to be, the ratio is going to be all the way up That's to the cool. top. That's cool. So this dilution bottle um, basically already has all the ratios exactly. measured out for you. So you can do yeah, it. Yeah, so you have the dilution. 20 to 1, 16 to 1, 10 to 1, so on and so forth. Cool. Yeah. So basically we we're going to fill the product up to that 20 to 1 line and then exactly. fill the, the rest of it to the water. Exactly. Yeah. So have it upright so you have the best dilution rate possible. And then you're just going to go ahead and pour that into the 20 to 1 line. And just like that. Two good squirts, and we're done. We filled it to 21, and you can go up to eight to one for this type of a cleaning? Yeah, so you can go ahead and fill it up to eight to one if you want more of a heavy duty cleaning. But like I said, this is just gonna be our general cleaning, so we're just gonna keep it at that 20 to one ratio. Cool. So now that that's all filled up to the 20 to one, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the rest with water here. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. Does it matter what kind of water you use? Or yeah, so we're using distilled water, and that's simply because you know, we, we recommend using distilled water whenever we dilute any of these products because distilled water doesn't have any minerals or anything like that, so it's not gonna interfere with your work. So especially when you're diluting like a wheel cleaner or something like that, you wanna make sure that you use that distilled water because, you know, if you're using, you know, uh, if you're using mineral water, those minerals can, you know, etch the surface of your wheel. So you wanna make sure that the water that you're using is purified and it doesn't have any minerals in it. Once you guys are done with that, you can go ahead and put your sprayer top nozzle back on it Twist that on, shake it up. You know, don't don't give it like a what is it? An aggressive shake? Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I would call that an aggressive shake. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't bust the Darla <laughs> and kill Nemo or anything there you go. like that. Just give it a nice stir, just to kind of mix the product with the water. 
and you've got your you know fabric clean 20 to 1 ratio good to go stir it up so we're gonna go in and set that towards the side set our fabric clean towards the side look check that out we still have a ton more fabric clean we can actually probably get about one two three four even you know four more bottles full just from one bottle of fabric clean wow and we're probably not even going to use all of this that's in the yeah no this either, is huh? we're probably even going to just spend like that much amount of product you to clean can this use this out. a bunch of times on its own and then have refills for exactly days. <laughs> refills for days <laughs> all right so now that we have our fabric clean ready to go and our floor mat cleaned now it's time to actually you know deep clean it with the fabric clean so the way i like to use this product is you want to make sure to give it a nice even coat you don't want to drench it you just want to give it a nice fan coat oh let me get that spray a trick here. let me get that going on right there so spray a nice coat throughout the entire surface of the floor mat like i said you don't want to drench it you just want to make sure you get it all nice and covered so once you've got it all nice and covered now it's time to grab your nifty carpet brush now the reason i'm using this brush is because it has a nice stiff bristle you know texture so this stiff bristles is going to allow us to go in and scrub deep within the fibers of the carpet so that we get all that dirt and grime extracted out of there. So that's going to work out great at deep cleaning. I'm also going to spray the brush right here as well, just to get that added lubrication and cleaning power. And then all we're simply going to do is just, you know, go in left and right motions, up and down, you know, whatever you feel more comfortable with. This is going to go ahead and start breaking all the grime that's in there. Like I said, it's citrus based, so you're gonna have kind of like a citrusy kind of yeah, scent hit you. Yeah, I smell it, it smells great. Yeah, it does. And it also, like I said, it cleans any kind of, you know, foul odors that are, you know, penetrated deep within the fibers of your fabric so that it gets rid of it, you know, especially for, you know, people that get like, throw up in their car, get like nasty smells in there. This is a really great way to go ahead and take care of that. Yeah. Just by simply cleaning your carpets. Uh, Uber drivers, get at this. I know you're working late nights and you got that stuff in your car. It does an excellent job at cleaning out those foul odors and it doesn't really take much time at all. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and grab our yellow workhorse towel. Now the reason we use yellow is because we dedicate yellow for interior cleaning. So if, such as if you're cleaning your dashboards, door panels, you know, fabric and upholstery, yellow works out great so that you can see the grime that's being removed from the surfaces that you're working on. So we're gonna take this towel. We're gonna take this towel and now we're just simply gonna, you know, pick up all up. the grime that we just irritated exactly. out of there with the brush, right? Check that out. I barely did this little section. Look at all that oh dirt. Oh my and gosh, my feet are filthy. So like I said, <laughs> Maybe because you don't see it right there and then, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Yeah. So just from that little section right there, we've extracted all that dirt and grime. I would kind of like flip the, the pile upwards, but it's kind of nasty. I don't know where you've been stepping, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and continue with buffing this stuff off. Should you wear gloves when you do this? <laughs> we, we probably should have worn gloves. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but check it out. It's just nice and simple. Check out all wow. that grime. Wow, so much grime. And you would think that just because we wiped it all off, you would think it's all gone, but check this out. A pro tip for you guys that have sensitive fabric floor mats, I would say grab your nifty brush and wrap your towel around it. That's gonna create a nicer and softer texture while still keeping that nice kind of massaging feature from the brush. So this technique, we usually, you know, we use it around the shop all the time. Give it two light sprays. Like I said, this is also gonna extract any kind of embedded grime that's on there and anything that we didn't really get just by rubbing the surface of the fabric with the towel. So like I said, that massaging texture is gonna, deep, is gonna dig deep within the fibers of this upholstery. So not only do we get the surface, but we also get the stuff that's embedded in there. It is looking deeper black than it was before as well. Check it so, out. Wow, <laughs> that is, okay. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean it is that, good. I guess, I guess it that's is good, beauty. it's clean now. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's the beauty of having black floor mats is that you can't tell, but you know, it is definitely well worth it when you do clean them because then you get all this grime that you never thought was there, but you know, it truly yeah. was. And you're basically freshening your car too. Is exactly. Like so smell. that citrus smell, that's going to go ahead and kind of, you know, circulate throughout the rest of your car. So you get a nice, fresh, zesty lemon scent. Didn't take much time at all. I know it probably took me like 10 minutes to explain it, but I mean, in a real life scenario, this takes no longer than two minutes, you know? Well, the good news is, we're gonna see how long it takes because even though I'm a newbie, <laughs> I've got to train for this. So it's time for the 80s training montage where I clean the second mat. So, so here we go. You guys asked for it. Here it is. Oh, I can't do it, do it. <laughs> 
What are you doing? Put your heart into it. Keep going. Harder, noob. Harder, you detailing noob. You need more training, noob. Uh, if you want to be the best, you gotta put your detailing skills to the test. Gotta squat those products to become a champ. Arm um, wrestling turns you into a man. The noob is working out now. Just look at those buns. He's gonna Keep die. Going. You're Fabric almost there. You almost got it. Push your heart into it. All of his mind. Eliminating grime all day You've and got all this. night Look at you, you're a professional all Yeah! Night. They're gonna pop Keep on working, don't ever stop To win this fight, he's gonna drop Go over the top, over the top, over the That's right, spray it Spray it like you mean it Look at that sweat bead right off the mat Believe in yourself, you have the heart You're a champion Champion. Thing looks nice. Wow, it looks dope. Looks like you know the car when you barely got it off the lot. Yeah, for real. It's like oh, a fresh, detailed look. Yeah, with nice spiffy carpet as alternating you alternating piles. <laughs> I like it. It's great. Looks good. So, I'll show you what this looked like before. And now after. It looks great. I guess that's it for today's episode, well, right? Yeah, that's it with the fabric. So we still got to address some of the other areas Ooh, of the interior. So yeah, so. we're going to work on the other interior parts, uh, which we'll talk about in the next episode. So you guys, thanks for joining us. If you like this episode, give us a fat like. Throw your comments down below on what the next montage should be. And uh, anything else that you want to see us do here around uh, the Chemical Newbie, yeah. anything you want to learn. Or anything, or anything you think you I should learn. learn, you know? So cool. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.